Hello everyone, welcome to week one of the Palmer Waltz. This one stood the test of time, let's have a look. Right, let's have a look at how this Palmer Waltz starts. It's mainly forwards and backwards steps, but there is a bit of a twist to it. Let's have a look. We have forward, forward, back, two, three, forward, forward, back, two, three. Now because the start of the dance is in what we call shadow hold, the lead and the follow both have exactly the same steps. So let's have a closer look at them. The key to success in this first move is that turn in between the forward and the backward steps. Both the lead and the follow are starting on the left foot for the first time they go into it. So if I go forward on the left, and then I've got a second walk forward on the right, but this one's a little bit different. As I take that step, I'm going to start to turn the toe out and I'm going to perform a half swivel on the spot and I have turned and I'm facing the other way. I'm ready for my backward steps. Now, if I've done that correctly and kept my weight on that right foot as I've turned, I'll be ready to take those three backward steps starting on the left foot. Now, any time we do a turn, we need to think a little bit about our balance. It's a bit trickier than just walking. So let's have a look at a few tips and tricks to make sure that you're nice and stable when you do this move. We've had our left walk forward. As I take my right foot forward and I'm preparing for the turn, I'm going to take my heel off the ground a little bit so that I don't have too much resistance into the floor that's going to halt my turn, but so that I stay nice and balanced all the way through that line. I'm going to bring this left foot up underneath me. I'm going to tuck in my knees together, squeeze them together, and then I can perform a nice controlled turn without accidentally putting my weight on that left foot to steady me. That way it's nice and controlled and I'm ready for my backward step. Now when we're going back the other way, it's the other foot's turn to start. So we did the first one on the left foot, we're both going to do the second one on the right foot. So I take a normal walk, I'm now going to take a walk on my left but prepare to turn to the left. So same applies, I'm going to take my heel just off the floor, I'm going to bring that other foot, squeeze my legs together and here I've done my turn and I am ready to go back on my right foot into those backward three walks. So if we put all that together, what we have is our walk on the left, walk on the right and do that turn to the right. Then I've got three backward steps, left, right, left. When I finish that third step, I'm going to bring this right foot that's sort of still hanging out there in front of me, just nice and neatly underneath me. That's going to help with my balance, keep everything nice and neat and mean that I can get a nice walk back the other way. What I don't want to do is put my weight onto that foot as it comes underneath me. I want to keep it nice and sturdily on that left foot. That means I'm ready to do the same thing going back the other way. This time it is right, left and turn, ready on the right foot, back, two, three, and again dragging that left foot nice and neatly underneath me. So if I go all the way through that thinking about what foot I've got my weight on, I've got left, right and turning, left, right, left, ready for right, left and turning, right, left, right. Now the Palmer Waltz is danced to, funnily enough, waltz music, which has three beats to it. So if I count out the beats, you'll see where my feet are falling on each one. We have one, two, three, 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 one, two, three. So the effect is we have some steps that are danced slower, some are sort of medium pace and others a little bit faster. Now, as you can see, I can dance all that by myself, but the dance was meant to be danced with a partner. We mentioned 
We mentioned the shadow position earlier, so let's have a look at how we get into that. We'll go over Ian's stance first. To begin with, Ian is going to just stand nice and strongly facing the way he wants to dance. His feet are together, he's nice and balanced, he's nice and upright and square. I'm going to be in a very similar stance, but I am going to be slightly in front of Ian and slightly to his right. So the idea is that if there was the sun shining up there and it was casting a shadow, <laughs> that is where Ian is. He is my shadow. Now you can see here we are nice and close. There should be some contact down the back of my left side and the front of Ian's right side. In a lot of these dances we want what we call hip contact and that's what we have here so that Ian can lead me through the dance from that position. Now we don't want to be too in front of our partner or too behind because <laughs> it's creepy but also because we want to have a free reign of the leg, if Ian swings his right leg forward and back, he should have room to do that. Similarly, I should have room to swing my left foot back. There's contact there, but it's not stopping me. So we're just in a nice, comfortable position with each other. If we look at that stance from the side and go through that checklist, so Ian's in place, I come in, I am definitely in front of Ian, not side by side, I should definitely have my own space here. So we've got contact, can we swing the legs? Ian can go forward, I can go back, that's fine. My arms come up and so do Ian's, we're in position. Now while you can see us from this view, we're going to mention a couple of things that will make this much more comfortable than sometimes it is. We want to hold our own weight up. I am not dragging down on Ian's arms and expecting him to hold me up, nor is Ian leaning forward or pulling back. We're maintaining our own integrity of position. Let's put the arms in place. Now I'm going to put my arms up first and they're going to be by the side of my head, not too far back. I want to be comfortably forward so my hands are in front of my face but nicely to the side, palms facing outwards. Ian's going to take my hands, which means that he's extending that right arm of his in this first position that we're in. I shouldn't have to sort of shift my hand anywhere to accommodate. Ian's accommodating to me. If we take a quick look at the same position from the back, all the usual things. I'm off to the side a little bit. We can move our legs nice and comfortably. If we put our arms up, you'll see that Ian's right arm is definitely more extended than his left to accommodate my hold. Now in this particular dance, that extension of Ian's right arm is quickly going to change as we do the first few steps of the dance. So let's have a look and see what happens. So if we get into the starting position, Ian's right arm is extended as it should be when we are in this position, but if we do those first two steps and then the turn, left, right and turn, you'll notice that now it is Ian's left arm that has to be extended because I have stayed on this side of the floor. I haven't stayed with his right side as we have turned. I've kept my position on this side, but suddenly it is Ian's left side that I am connected to. And so it is his left arm that has to extend. Now one final point for you. If we try that turn but we both take the same length of step, we're going to run into a little bit of trouble. So if we just do those two steps but we both take a similar size step on this one, I am going to end up not in front of Ian but kind of behind him and it's not going to be very comfortable. So for that second step, that second forward step both ways, the ladies want to make sure that they are not taking too big a step and gents, you don't want to take too small a step. Otherwise, we don't end up in the correct position after the turn. So if we have a look at it one more time, we have left, right, as we turn, I'm still in front. Uh, three steps back, then two forward. Again, Ian's taken a nice clean step past me and here we are back to our original position. Okay, everyone.
everyone. That was the start of the Palmer Waltz. Next session, we'll be looking at some walks and locks to add on. We'll see you then.